talk to you for a second. Hey, I'm Lori. So um, I don't know who this is intended for, but whoever it is for, you will know right away that it's for you. So my message is basically, um, God reminded me today about when I was in a relationship with a gentleman that I was thinking I was going to marry that lived over in Paris, France, while I was over in France. And how in the beginning of the relationship, things were beautiful. Things were really good between us. He, he gave me a house. He you know, took care of me, all these great things. And it seemed wonderful, but it quickly went sour, especially once I moved in and went over there. Now, I was extremely close with his mother and his sister and, and other siblings and family members. So many times when we would have our disagreements, I would run to them and just kind of be around them for a while just to kind of get away from him. And I remember his sister particularly, she was a teenager at the time, she didn't speak very good English. So she would basically use me as a way to learn how to properly speak English. And she stopped me one day, she looked me right in the eyes while I was going through one of my many emotional outbursts or whatever I was dealing with that with him. And she looked me in my face one day and she said in perfect English, he's not for you. Excuse me, little girl. <laughs> I didn't want to hear it, but I knew it was true. And I knew she was 100% right. And come on, talk about God using the foolish things to confound the wise. Like, you know, it could have been a better way to get through to what I didn't want to see. Couldn't have been a better way. And I think that's what the Lord's trying to do for some of you right now. He's trying to get through to some of you. He's trying to teach you that there's someone you're holding on to. There's something you're holding on to. And he's trying so hard to say, let it go because it's killing you. It's destroying you. You got to get out of there. But you don't want to let go. And just like this young girl that didn't really speak English very well, he may use something just as fo seemingly foolish to confound you, to get you to understand that he's talking to you. That it's not make believe, it's not in your head. Listen to it. I understand that place. I've been there many times. But if you would follow it and trust him, trust God and let it go, I promise you, you will find yourself in a much better place.